We're going to test now a pressure sensor. So we have two students here who made a pressure sensor. I'm ready. Let me see here. And uh, we can see here through the microscope a picture of the pressure sensor. And we have five volts on VDD. Uh, we have ground across the other side of the bridge. But we have a V out plus on this side and V out minus on the other side. The chip's a little dirty because it just came out of the wafer saw, but still works pretty well. Uh, as I turn the vacuum on, as I turn the vacuum on, you can actually see it deflect very clearly. So that is indicating that the diaphragm is thick, thin enough and it's going to work very well. Um, we're looking at the output voltage now of VO plus, and that is a two and a half volt. Now I'm going to connect, change the connection and measure VO minus, or other half of your bridge and that's all so 2.5 to 4 volts now we're looking at the difference between the V plus and the V minus and I change my connections here and now the difference between those two measurements we could just took is 3 millivolts as I turn the vacuum on you'll see that that difference now becomes 200 millivolts. So we have one of the side of the bridge go up by 100 millivolts, the other side of the bridge goes down by 100 millivolts, and that's our difference, 200 millivolts. You can see with the vacuum off, vacuum on. Vacuum off, 